All right, guys, Brett with Team KYGO, and we're here with Young Scotland. Uh, he got top 64 at the North American World Championship Qualifier. And what deck were you playing? Back again, once again. It's your boy playing Spiral. Best deck. You guys should know what I've been playing by now. Sorry for the late deck profile. I've pretty much posted my list everywhere, but I still thought I'd do one just to talk about some stuff. But uh, yeah, three tough. So. I was playing like the Sky Striker build with like Where Are Thou and stuff, just like a super heavy combo deck. But while me and Chester were sitting in the Cincinnati airport on the way to Nationals, I completely changed my entire deck. I don't recommend doing that, by the way. But I don't know. I just felt like I wanted a super consistent deck, super generic, streamlined deck, just so I could do as good as possible. I felt like I was good enough to beat my opponents if I could draw or play every single game. But I didn't want to play something like as weak as Burning Abyss or Trickstar. I wanted something powerful that I could like push through and break a board. So that's why I wanted to continue playing Spiral. I don't know, I just love this deck. But yeah, I switched to a pretty pretty streamlined version of the deck. So three tough, three super agents, uh, all your regular Spiral stuff. Um, still have to play Ibley, you want to do the combo. This is an engine requirement, so you have to play it. Uh, I played more hand traps. I was just playing three Ash, but now I'm playing three Ash, three Droll. This is the best hand trap. This is probably the second best hand trap. Uh, just good going second. Beats Trickstar, but your deck rates Trickstar anyways. Uh, Resort, three Terraforming. I was playing Pseudo Space, but I cut it. You don't you don't really need it. It's it's not a requirement. It doesn't help contribute to your combos going first, so just cut it. Wanted my deck to be as consistent as possible. Uh, two Collar by the Grave. I really wish I would have made the third one or like try to found a space. I ended up siding the third one, but I wish I would have been in the main deck. This card's absolutely fantastic. You just want to, still want to combo, go first, make a huge board. Uh, three Force Burial Goods. This is my favorite card in the deck. Best combo extender, everything. Uh, one of this to send off the goods. Uh, one Big Red. You need it for the combo. You don't want to really want to draw it, so just one. Uh, Rota, Foolish, Reborn, or One for One, Reborn, Upstar Goblin, just power spells. That's why Spiral was so good. And then I played three Impermanence, which is more of a hand trap, and then three Rescue. Uh, you have to play this for the combo, and this card is just fantastic for grinding and everything. This card, absolutely horrible. I wish I did not play this card at all. I wish I played another Call by the Grave, maybe like something like Effect Veiler, um, Gamma. That's what this card should have been. It should have been Gamma. That card's really good. I got drawled a lot, and it's just good gun second. This card was horrible. I don't know why people like this card. It's, no, it's done. <laughs> uh, extra deck, two helix, uh, your nightmare stuff, one of everything. You still need this for one of the combos, but it's all right. Uh, one link Krebo, Trigates, Deco. Just if you open two spirals, you can just kill them. Uh, one firewall, I need it for the combo. One of this guy. Do you have still have like two to three card combos where you can loop four cards out of your hand and extra link with this? But I never summoned it. Like. Every single person, once I started to do the combo, they would just scoop. I don't, I mean, I mean, I guess I'm glad I had this in my extra deck, but. They wouldn't let you have fun with they it. Wouldn't let, yeah, they never, they never had me have fun with it, and I never summoned it, so I don't even know if they knew I was playing this card <laughs> or not. They just they never let me get this far. And uh, one board load, since I cut all the Sky Striker stuff, I didn't need like the Kagar or the Shizuku or Space Insulator or anything, so I had more room to work with, and this is the card I picked. It's like the only chance that you have going second to try to make a Buguki, break a Buguki board if you have to. It's the only way you can out uh, like the little lock with like Cerberus and Goblin and Phoenix and stuff. This is the only way to break it. And then one of this, needed for the combo, and just to help keep Crypt fixing the graveyard. Uh, side deck, uh, two Gamma Seal. Um, it's mainly it was in there for pendulums, like if you want to need to kaiju their vortex or something like that, because you don't want to side evenly because it just automatically gets negated by vortex or something, so it'll never resolve. And it kind of helps break the gooky board. Uh, the third called by the grave, like I said, this should have been in the main deck. Uh, three twin, this card was really good. Uh, it's good against Trickstar because you don't want to side evenly match for Trickstar because it just gets reincarnated out of your hand. So this is what you want. Uh, three Shared Ride. This is definitely the MVP side card of the weekend. So I'm very glad I put this in my deck last minute. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, three Red Reboots for Altergeist. And then three Evenly Matched for Pure and other stuff like that. Uh, I mean, it is Spiral at the end of the day. So you can just Red Reboot them. You can just, you can just kill them. Yep. Or Evenly. Just help simplify the game state as much as you want. Because your monsters are so inherently stronger. And just their effects are so much better. You can take over the game really quickly. So if you can Evenly... And wipe out some background. You just tap Super Asian. You can dominate the game really quickly. All right. Any shout outs you want to give? Uh, yeah. <laughs> shout out to Chester. He top 32 for helping me with my deck. Shout out to Noah Basiso, Jason Woodworth, everybody that stayed in my hotel. The weekend was awesome. Uh, shout out to Eden Sleens for this mat. It's gorgeous. I'm so glad I finally got it. Uh, shout out to Team TCS, Team Collector Store. Check us out on YouTube. And uh, yeah, I think that's about it. All right. And uh, how'd you feel about this weekend? Was it a good uh, NAWCQ? 
It didn't really feel like a Nats. It really I don't, didn't, did it? I don't know if anybody else felt that way, but... It felt like a big West, yes, Yeah, to be honest. yeah, there was like, I think 2,000 people, maybe a little 1700. under. 1,700. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. It was really good. Texas is hot as hell. I don't oh. know how y'all live there. <laughs> Jesus, <laughs> it really is. Jesus yeah. Christ. All right. Well, thank, yeah. uh, thank you for coming, Clifton. Yeah, thank no you. Problem. Bye.